Okay, when we started, our first question was, uh, what is language? And I said that it's primarily three things. Uh, it's primarily speech, it's something spoken. Uh, it's primarily social, something we do together. And the third point uh, is, of course, that it's about making sense. So let's move on to our second point, language is social. Um, here we want to note, you know, language is always about a sender and a receiver of any given message. And so it's always this, it's about communication between two or more people. And that is also defined by the context in which the communication is taking place and our everyday sense of meaning, um, which is partly defined, defined by uh, our culture. Um, so I wanna give an example here of tea. Um, you know, our, our everyday sense as we go about in our uh, daily life, we get a sense of what is tea. We're having experiences of objects. We're having experiences of uh, emotions and we're having different experiences with different people within our speech community. And we're starting to associate particular sounds and particular series of sounds with particular experiences. Um, and then we begin internalizing those, uh, both the sense imagery and the speech itself. So uh, to give you an example of this, I grew up in the Midwest in Iowa, actually. And my experience of tea was that it's something we drink in the summer. Uh, it's an ice drink, it's cool, it's cold, it's refreshing, it's sweet. And um, it gave me an internal sense of meaning what, what tea was to me, you know. And the first time I tried cha, you know, Tibetan tea, uh, it was, you know, none of those things. Uh, it wasn't cold, it was hot, it wasn't sweet, it was savory. Um, and it was buttery and it kind of clashed and somebody said, gave me the cup and said, oh, this is Tibetan tea. And it just, I had this feeling like, no, it's not, it's not tea. Um, what's happening there? Well, when we're communicating with each other using language, we're relying on sets of shared experiences. Um, if I say tea to a fellow Midwesterner, it's gonna be a lot more likely that they have a similar experience of tea. And so I've communicated that message to them, you know, quickly and effectively. So if we don't have the shared experience and we come from uh, different cultures that have different sets of shared experiences, uh, then we, this is something we really need to think about, something we need to worry about. If we are learning a language and we're not accessing those experiences that we're sharing with other people, uh, then we're gonna, end up translating things that maybe don't have quite the same sense. And we need to know when we're doing that and, and when we're not. So I'll just in this section also bring it back to Tanad quote, context and cultural background are extremely important for reading classical Tibetan.